it is an extraordinarily serious situation. Uh, Canada is sending the military to help amid fast-spreading wildfires in British Columbia, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said on Sunday. The western province has been battling for days the latest round of blazes that have led to evacuation orders for more than 35,000 people. The federal government is uh, continuing to step up. We're there with Canadian Armed Forces resources. Uh, we're active in coordinating with uh, regional and local governments to make sure people are safe, make sure uh, we're doing everything uh, to uh, protect lives and property. Uh, but there's a lot more to do, and we're going to continue uh, to stay focused on that. British Columbia declared a state of emergency on Friday and later banned non-essential travel to free up lodging for evacuees and firefighters. It's also urging drone operators and others capturing images of the blazes to stay clear of rescue workers. Trudeau said on social media the federal government was sending in the military to help with evacuations and other logistical tasks in response to a request from the B.C. government. Firefighting officials said on Sunday conditions were improving but warned of difficult days ahead. The province's record-setting wildfires are expected to push more people out of their homes this week as blazes destroyed properties and forced part of a major national highway to close. Forest fires are not uncommon in Canada, but the spread of these blazes and disruptions they've caused highlight the severity of Canada's worst fire season yet, which has killed at least four firefighters. There were similar scenes near and across the United States border on Sunday too. Firefighters in the U.S. state of Washington are battling more wildfires that began on Friday and are tearing through the state at a high speed. Officials said on Sunday at least one person had died in a blaze in Spokane County, bordering the state of Oregon. They also said the blaze was only 10 percent contained. During a visit to an evacuation shelter in Spokane on Sunday, State Governor Jay Inslee blamed the fires on what he called the beast of climate change.